what a great day it was today with temperatures in the upper 50s to lower 60s. This is the last week of winter, actually. First day of spring comes Sunday on March 20th. And I know that we are ready to see warmer weather, and we're going to see more warmth. It comes even for your St. Patrick's Day forecast, where temperature highs could be near 70 degrees. But let's take a look at the warmth over the area just the last 24 hours. It's centered over the Great Lakes, almost 20 degrees compared to yesterday, where yesterday's high was 39. And we've got many double digits out there in the west, so we're going to continue to see more warmth. Here's the temperatures right now. It's... 63 in Kankakee, almost at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Lansing at 61, along with Juliet. 59 at O'Hare. Even 60 degrees in Kenosha and also Union and DeCalton. So the warmth is over us, and we've seen temperatures, um, probably the warmest that we've seen in the last couple of weeks. Now 65 already in St. Louis, while 68 in Kansas City. Grand Island, Nebraska is toasting a 71 and they're feeling really good but some areas for us could be in the 70s actually tomorrow we'll keep an eye on that what we're looking for is um, a little bit of sunshine at least for your st patrick's day forecast now we saw plenty of sunshine today just a few high clouds but we do have more cloud cover starting to push in that high that gave us such a gorgeous day today will move off to the east and then with an association as that ridge breaks down we have a low pressure system along with a cold front so we're bringing in some rain and there's a possibility we could see some rain on st patrick's day um, so we're looking at mostly cloudy skies uh, for St. Patrick's Day, but a very windy and warm day with temperatures ranging anywhere from the mid-60s to even lower 70s in some areas. Here are the temperatures on Thursday at 7 p.m., so upper 60s pretty much everywhere before that cold front comes through. Now, Friday won't be a terrible day. We're looking at temperatures still to be in the 50s, but once that cold front comes through, temperatures will start to fall. So future care shows dry conditions, more cloud cover moves in, this is by Thursday um, afternoon, then a little bit of some moisture could start to stream in. Remember, this warmth is all coming from the south and also west, so we could tap into some gulf moisture, and we'll bring in some scattered rain showers even for Friday. Winds out of the south right now, southwest, at about 7 to 14 miles per hour, but we'll keep some breezy winds tonight. Mild 41 to 47 under partly cloudy skies. And then maybe a little bit of sunshine, but I'm going to go for under mostly cloudy, but still very warm, 60 to 66 with a chance of a little bit of some rain. Winds out of the south, southwest, at about 15 to 20, and gust around 25. Showers throughout the day on Friday, just a high of 50, 52 on Saturday, but dry. But next week, temperatures move back up again to near 60 degrees on Sunday and Monday. But it looks like a very wet period and several days in a row where we could have some rain, even some thunderstorms. I'm meteorologist Duffy Atkins in the WGN Weather Center, where it is definitely weather.